Hello, Cancer. Oh, <laughs> welcome to your mid-month check-in and reading. We've got the Nine of Acorns, Power and Perseverance. One of my favorite cards, this is the Nine of Wands, but I love this beautiful Black Panther. It just, oh, it's got such presence and grace and power, and it just really is such a magnificent animal being, I want to say. So there's this magnificence. But I feel like it's tapping into your internal power on a, a deeper level. It's going below a layer I'm feeling here. It's sort of like a normal layer we might operate at. And it's like this is me in my everyday life. And then we're going deeper within. And this layer itself may think that it is protecting you in some way. But there's a deep knowing, a deep truth from connecting in with that. And so there's this deep knowing that there's something that you are persevering with and through connecting to this power, there's this understanding that you are so close now. You are, even though there may be some challenges around, but you're closer than you think. So let's see what's shifting and changing for you, Cancer. We have a big month ahead, massive month, in fact. Uh, you know, moving from Aries season into Taurus season, we're still in the eclipse energy. We're in Mercury retrograde. We have a massive conjunction between Uranus and Jupiter happening in the second half of April on the 20th or 21st, depending on where you are in the world, which could represent a big change in your life. And yeah, we have the, the full moon in your fellow water sign, Scorpio, which is the, the moon of Buddha's enlightenment. So and this is a time when there could be a beautiful culmination energy. I'm getting a beautiful sense of nurturing and going really deep, some deep compassion coming through for you, a deep understanding. It's like I just want to go deep within myself. And this is where the veils from the earth uh, between the worlds are thinnest so it's like I can a really great time to meditate or just connect in deeply with yourself so this is a beautiful energy so what's shifting and changing we have cup for Neptune Cancer just as I was talking about all those things so Neptune is the higher realms the spiritual world the mystical world the world of imagination and dreams also the world of illusions so here we have here neptune cancer and the cup four can be where you have been feeling a little bit disillusioned it's interesting because neptune what they're showing me is can show you where you've been holding on to an illusion we all do it in just everything about everything you know there's like with sense of i think i understand this but sometimes it's an illusionary energy for whatever reason. Perhaps it, it's because it's easier to believe that than actually having to dig in and face what it, it really is. So there's this illusion that is being shattered in a way and this creates disillusion. And in a way this is a catalyst so that you can go beyond that level into the deeper level and go, what is going on? What is this all about? Because it's the search, this Four of Cups is the about your emotional foundations, about what's feeling right for you. And there's something, if there's something that's not feeling right, it's like I need to go deeper. I need to go deeper. I need to find what that thing is. I need to find that deeper connection. So, but there's this deep energy of coming in and going, I also need to, to love myself and nurture myself. There's deep emotional renewal and compassion and forgiveness from going into these deeper layers, which is really beautiful. And they just keep saying emotional renewal, emotional renewal, and emotional renewal for cancer, which is really lovely. Uh, so it's a sense that if you are already, your foundation, emotional foundations are potentially going to feel like they're being tested or have felt like that in some way. And if something really feels like, okay, this is right, I've set up the right foundation, this is aligned to my highest spiritual connection, this is aligned to my soul and spirit, then it's a, still going to give you this sense of deeper understanding and knowledge and this deep sense of satisfaction. So it, either way, this Four of Cups is really... <laughs> Again, it's a deepening. It's a deepening of a connection and caring really deeply for 
what it is that you need on an emotional level, whether it's a person, a situation, a thing, a, a body of knowledge, but there is this sense of going deep within, under the normal layers, under the surface layers. So it's like, well, no, maybe I'm not, not used to going there, but the, there's uh, gold in that for you. That's where the fulfillment is coming in. So it really feels like when the power and perse perseverance, what they're saying is that you have been working with the emotional foundations of something. And even though it might feel like something might not necessarily be working with it, they're saying, don't give up, don't give up. You're possibly closer than you think. And it might just be, there's a little bit of murky waters around, but if you go really deep and ask what it is that you're searching for, then you will find the answers. And so the answers are closer than what you think, uh, which is wonderful news <laughs> coming through cancer. So let's see what else is coming in for cancer. And I like that this is like your higher octave, your higher spiritual messages coming through for you. The fact that you've come in is something is shifting and changing for you. And it might feel like a, uh, an emotional compass or a spiritual compass in some way. It might feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm being guided into a different direction, which is not necessarily what I was first thinking or feeling and that might feel like I just need to reorientate myself with that but at the same time I like this Black Panther coming in the power and perseverance is saying that sense of stability is deep within you so yeah okay so let's see what else is coming through for Cancer. So Cancer, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch your three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you the more holistic view, the fuller picture of what's going on for you. And this is a general reading, Cancer. Just take what feels right. Leave the rest. Look what you got, the Four of Cups again. Okay, so this is, yeah, restlessness, boredom, disillusionment. It's a cat always a catalyst energy this four of cups. Uh, yeah, just take what really feels right for you. And it might feel a little bit of like hmm, uh, wading through the waters to work out what feels right for you in, in this, uh, a certain situation that's coming up here. Uh, and don't take on anything that doesn't feel right. And there is no extended reading for the mid month. That is the monthly reading. So let's see what else is coming through for Cancer. Again, they they keep showing me this kind of armor guard, like a and yeah, a sense of protection against. Look at these big, yeah, the devil coming in. Look at these big major arcanas coming through. Okay, you're turning up as the empress. Yeah, it is about nurturing. I kept getting that. The two of cups, there's definitely a relationship energy around is transforming. Wow. Whoa. Okay. And the big, like, big energies with this and the seven of pentacles. So, again, it's just a course correction, like a sense of something was going one way and the emotional investment that you've put in even financial investment feels like with a partnership or with something to do on the material realm. So it could be to do with family. It could be to do with a legacy. It could be to do with your work, your health, your um, daily routines or your money. But ultimately here we have this four of cups is something's emotionally on offer here. And it's crossed by the judgment card, which is the judgment card is about renewal and rebirth and clearing out a whole heap of old energies. And it's interesting what we have in the past energy here is the Eight of Cups, and this character's walking away emotionally detaching because it's saying, I've tasted all these cups, there's one missing, something's been found wanting, something's not feeling right, and I'm not finding what I'm searching for. And then we've got this coming in, oh, here comes a cup, and this character's got its arms crossed to it, going, no, that's not what I'm looking for either. And so it's got its defences up. But it's crossed by the judgment card is that there's messages coming in from soul and spirit that perhaps you're uh, not wanting to listen to or not able to hear in some way. The judgment card can represent clearing and cleaning and letting things go and letting energies pass on. And maybe it's just been really hard to be able to do that emotionally there's a sense of uh, it's just something feels a bit emotionally stuck with that 
So we have in your conscious mind the Hierophant. This is the card of commitments, long-term commitments, marriages. So there potentially could be something funky happening within a relationship where this is somebody that's been around long-term for you. Uh, so this doesn't have to necessarily be like a partnership or a marriage. It could just be that this energy has hung around for a long time or maybe it's a member of your family or a friend. But there's definitely a, a deep questioning of a relationship that's coming in for you and wondering if you're getting what you need emotionally from it. So because at the base we've got the devil card and it's saying that there you've been stuck in this energy for such a long time. Maybe there's something you haven't been able to move on from with the devil is when the energy has been around for way too long and we're seeing it's not been able to be cleared out. Something's not been able to kind of be released. The toxic energy of the devil, uh, the, the fears and doubts or the uh, whatever has kept you bound and kept you in bondage here um, with the devil can be yeah, definitely feeling really stuck in some way. Um, yeah, it's like it's been really hard to move on, um, perhaps feeling quite blocked. So, yeah, the devil is where there's potentially an, an energy block happening with this deep down that is just, yeah, for whatever reason, there's something that you uh, get, potentially there's a message to move on from this or you've, it's hung around for way too long and either it's just been hard to do that or you haven't been able to get that message. So in the near future, and maybe it's just been, you know, it's just so hard to let this go. Absolutely. But you keep, they keep bringing me back to this nine of acorns, which is power and perseverance. Don't give up. So we have in the near future the Ten of Pentacles, and this is where some of, for some of you, this is where you're thinking about changing jobs, or there's a big shift in the family dynamic that comes through uh, with this. This is a completion and ending with the Ten of Pentacles, and this can represent legacy as well. But definitely, it's got very strong family vibes. It's wanting to attain some kind of stability, and sometimes it's when you sacrifice something and you stay in an energy for the sake of creating stability and it hasn't been emotionally serving you. So I feel like um, or that there is something that just has been very unstable around you on the uh, material realm. So we are seeing a, attainment of some kind of stability coming through through this power of perseverance and making a bit of an adjustment to the time, effort, energy and um, or money that you're investing in a particular person or situation that feels like it's been a, a, perhaps a long-term commitment or a commitment that just you're feeling really bound to or stuck with. So, but you're presenting as the empress. So this could even be somebody that you love or you cared for or you did love. The Empress represents uh, somebody who's very nurturing and connected to the divine and feeling a sense of duty perhaps to caring for this person when I feel like perhaps you've given maybe too much of yourself and it's not feeling, you know, maybe you're feeling a bit emotionally drained or you're just feeling a bit like a deep sense of questioning, like we said. But the Empress energy is beautiful. There's beautiful, nurturing, Earth Mother energy of the Empress. So I feel like you're potentially caring for somebody and maybe or they haven't been able to get themselves unstuck. This could be somebody who's found themselves in a bit of a hole. It could be somebody who's suffering from addictions. It could be somebody who's suffering from financial stress as well. This could even be something that's not healthy as well or hasn't been healthy in the past for you. It could be a toxic person. It could, the devil can sometimes be um, narcissism as well. But it doesn't have to necessarily be all these things. But here you are continually opening your heart and helping this person and there is this devil energy around. It feels like in a way it's a commitment that you feel bound to and... Maybe it's it's kind of a little bit like are they able to help themselves? I don't know, but I feel like it's just about making sure that you've got something left to give for yourself. We have as the energy surrounding you the Ten of Swords. 
Now, what I like about this is that the devil represents the darkness there. You can see that there's a dark energy around, but the darkness is lifting here with the Ten of Swords and there's some kind of new possibility, a new dawn. There's something that's dawning on you around this where it's like you're understanding that something needs to end. There's a completion energy, perhaps a closure, a shutting the door, perhaps saying no a little bit more or no to something. Um, so it really feels like there's perhaps there's just a lot that you're understanding about this dynamic that's coming through with the Ten of Swords. But, yeah, I just feel like there's a situation here that is really hard to get out of in some way, but it hasn't been having a positive effect at all here with you, with the Ten of Swords. And it may have even been that somebody's, potentially feeling betrayed here or feeling let down or feeling like you're betraying somebody by saying no and it's hard to say that it really is hard to say that but it does feel like there's something that you're understanding that is yeah it just keeps they keep saying that there's a belief system around around this that maybe you have to give more than what you do <laughs> there's something about you coming back to yourself and caring for yourself and not feeling bound to a situation that um, you have felt bound to. So in the Hopes and Fears, we've got the Six of Pentacles. This is the card of rebalancing and finding balance of the give and take within a relationship or within a financial situation or a little bit more coming in that you just needed to balance things out a little bit if things were going a little bit too much the other way when it, on the material realm. So this is the card of charity of somebody being charitable and giving a little bit more. And it's also about the card of being open to receive if that's what you need. So it is all about finding the balance of give and take that is coming through and we have as an outcome the two of cups the death card and the world card so there are yeah major cycles ending completion that's coming through the world card does represent uh, fulfillment through the ending of cycles we have the two of cups it is definitely around a relationship that uh, a relationship energy and this doesn't mean the whole relationship is ending. It might just be an emotional component or a dynamic within that relationship. Something needs to end uh, or you just need to say, you know, change the way you're thinking about it in some way. But it's transformational. There's a transformational ending and completion that's coming in here. A natural cycle is moving on within this relationship that is transformative and that creates the way for liberation and change and new beginnings. So it really is this transformational ending that energies of birth, death and rebirth that are coming in around a relationship. And this could quite literally be some of those bigger life themes. It could be around that. It could be births in the family. It could be people moving on in whatever way in the family or within a situation. Uh, so, and there may be a question of faith that's been, maybe there's a sense of questioning faith in some way, uh, but we have as an overall energy, the seven of pentacles, and this is a very Mercury retrograde card. It does represent a reassessment. This character wants to plant that seed into the earth and being the earth mother, the empress, it's like, I want to make this a fertile space, a fertile seed. But it's having a big think about it, having the patience to see the perspective of the best way to move forward, the best investment of your money, time, effort, energy, feelings. And so it may require if you're looking for growth or looking for something to blossom and bloom in your life and to bring for this particular relationship to be feeling more abundant again or relationships in general, it's a sense of being quite thoughtful and maybe making some adjustments to the investments that you are putting in at this moment. So there's an opportunity for a rebalancing to come through and this is through major completions and endings. So let's have a look at an uh, affirmation card for you. We've got, I love and approve of myself. I appreciate all that I do. I'm good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself, I ask for what I want, I claim my power. And again, we've got power and perseverance. So it may be, it's like finding the balance between what you want to persevere with 
and what's right for you. Um, so, yeah, and there's this beautiful love and approve of yourself energy. And the Empress does nurture and love herself and nurture energies in her life. It could be very nurturing for other people, but then we've got deep down inside the devil. Maybe it's hard for you to love yourself, and but it's easier to love others. That could be something that comes in. And then look what we've got. Okay, the skull and crossbones, it represents toxic energy. It represents nose. It represents don't go down that path. Don't go down that path of self-flagellation or negative thinking or something that is toxic or bad for you, whether it's thought patterns, whether it's things that you're doing or whether it's just giving too much to somebody else. You're getting a very definite skull and crossbones is like the danger. Do not go down there. Um, and it maybe this is a, a dangerous person for some of you in your life. And it's like, no, you kind of you're getting warning signs. It's definitely a warning sign, the skull and crossbones. So listen to those warning signs that are coming through because there's opportunity to readjust, to clean and clear some things out and to be feeling very differently. But it is understanding that there, there are dynamics and things within this relationship that naturally are ending and it's time to allow that to happen, some of those patterns and bigger patterns that are coming through or bigger cycles that are coming through. So, And then it, it creates the space for you to love and approve of yourself and to care for yourself again and come back and be the beautiful empress. So that is your reading, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to hear what is going on for you. And all of that helps with the growth of the channel, so I really appreciate it. Also check out my other offerings and take care.